I gave the attack boost to freaking Duchess. Oh my god. Uh oh. I had it too. I had it. Good morning, everybody. Today I wanted to try my hand at making a guide on Siege. Seeing as the first Siege just kind of released, I wanted to go over everything that I'm aware of and try to do my best to compile it in a way that you guys might be able to digest it and learn something from it because as of right now from what i'm seeing in the comments and from what i'm seeing in the in-game chat nobody knows what's going on so here we have a burrito's guide on how to siege i'm gonna do my best to tell you everything that i know i haven't clicked on this siege thing just yet i just woke up so we're gonna discover a lot of this together Everything that I do know, everything that I do know so far is derivative of stuff that came from my clan. Pretty much everything is going to be coming from the clan who do a lot of this research and strategy. Siege, we're going to jump in here and we're going to see everything that's here. Welcome to the battle phase. During this phase, you need to go on the offensive and assault the enemy fortress. This is your enemy's fortress. Destroying its stronghold is one of your main objectives. To lay siege to a building, you need an attack scroll. If you lose a battle against an enemy defense, you can use a rematch scroll. This up here is an attack scroll. You need this to attack one of these or to claim one of these towers. If you do decide to attack and you lose, this rematch scroll is available to you so that you can go ahead and try your hand at doing it again. The goal is to defeat as many enemy defense teams as possible. We have two days to do this. This is the battle report. You will earn victory medals based on how many enemy buildings your clan destroyed. Earn enough and you'll receive rewards. Having the most victory medals is a key part of ensuring a siege win. For successful attacks on enemy defense teams, you will be rewarded with florins. If any of your defense teams survive the battle phase, they're going to earn you some florins as well. Destroying an enemy shield or destroying the enemy stronghold and shrines while protecting your own is a major challenge during the siege. If you manage to succeed, everyone in the clan is going to earn mana orbs. All right, so down here, you see that these are florins and these are mana orbs. And it says here to collect milestone rewards and the victory chest, you must win at least one attack or defense battle in the current siege. Siege is going to start you off with 60 teams or like the during the prep phase, right? So I should put this right here. Uh, there is something called the prep phase, which for some reason lasts like two weeks. I'm not really sure what the logistics are behind that. You're going to be given defense tokens, which are the green ones, and you need to fill every slot. Everyone gets two. You have 30 clan mates. That's 60. When it comes to filling your slots, when you put your champions in the your defense, you want to make sure, and I'll show you guys this in a bit, that you're putting your best arena defense teams. You, you have two options here, right? Throw them in manually, or if you want to do presets, you need to go into the filter and set those up. But you're going to have to make a new team because you have to use all battle auras only so if it says arena battles it doesn't apply here for some reason it doesn't apply here even though it, i know it looks and functions like arena functions like that it doesn't count as an arena battle so make sure you guys are using all battle auras for your lead when it comes to priority for where you want your strongest defenses during the prep phase you want to make sure this had to burn some energy so let me, let me double back real quick and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so prep phase, 60 teams, you get 60 teams. I'm not sure where to check that. Right here, up here. All right, so you get 60. This is going to be your active layer bonuses. For example, at this defense tower, you can see what somebody put this specific um, aura boost, whatever it's called, and it says that force and magic champions on the defense team have an extra 10% of gaining an extra turn when using active skills. Coordinate with your team and do that sort of thing. Now make sure that when you're putting up your defense, you're using, oh my God, we're getting demolished. So for arena defense, you wanna make sure you're using all battles. And if you check the defense reports section, you can see who ganked you. 
priority for defense, you want to make sure that you're protecting first your stronghold, putting your strongest teams there. The second one is going to be your mana shrine. And so this is the mana shrine over here. Don't ask me why it's the second priority. I just know that it is. But as always, the reason I make these videos is so that we can all have a conversation about it in the comments. So we can all help each other understand and you guys can help me understand for the things that I don't know because there's a lot I don't know, but I learned from you guys. The third priority is the defense or the magic towers. And that's going to be the magic towers here, here, and then the defense towers, which are the green ones over here. And of course, there's more over on this side, but it seems to me like they just took this path and wanted to just blaze their way to the stronghold here. And it looks like we've already been absolutely ganked. Is that a game set and match? I wonder. Well, I think the, the goal is to destroy as many enemy defense teams. So maybe this doesn't exactly mean a loss. I'm not sure. Fourth and final priority for where to set your teams is going to be the posts. Now you want to distribute your teams based on these priorities while using your own understanding of how well your defense is likely to perform. You should only have two teams on the map. Your reserve team is going to go into your posts here. It's going to get spread out. So any slots that are not filled in, if you have a reserve team, it's going to be automatically placed into these empty spots if nobody chose those spots. When it comes to mana orbs and florins, according to our clan leader, you can either donate or you can keep it to yourself. It all kind of helps out. It's a resource that's only going to be spent here. Florins have two purposes, to repair our buildings after they're destroyed during a siege. And two, they can be donated to the stronghold or the mana defense magic towers to help upgrade them. So if something's destroyed, like the stronghold here, for an example, I think you should be able to repair if you had enough. All right. And then when it comes to matchmaking, it's based on uh, CBC. From what I've seen around um, just Discord and chat, I think it was based on the average of last four CVC performances. They took the average of your last four CVC performances and they paired you with um, whoever that is. So we got matched with uh, Romanian Shield. It's not easy because we, we just got paired with uh, these guys who are crazy. Absolutely just demolished us and this thing just started. That's wild. Okay, so moving on to the battle slash attack phase. How do we win? Destroy enemy stronghold. And you also need to earn more victory medals than the enemy. If neither clan achieves both, then it's going to count as a loss for both. There is no tie. There's no tiebreaker or anything. It's just either one wins or the, nobody wins. Now, if a clan does manage to win outright, then every clan member who wins at least one battle during the siege is going to receive a victory chest so as long as i take down one of these guys i'm going to receive a chest the contents of the chest vary depending on the siege tier of the clan depending on the tier it's going to influence what kind of gear or what kind of um rewards that you get i think it's the new set i heard that there was a new set going around now because victory is dependent on destroying the whole stronghold you need to look for a route to the enemy you need to pick a certain route and try to collaborate with your team to try to blaze a path towards the stronghold all right and the next thing i'm reading is that in the battle phase there is a limit for using champions in attack each champion can be used in attack battles no more than two times this limit con this limit concerns all attack battles battles for attack scrolls and for rematch as well as rebattles in the mana shrines so let's go ahead and test that let's go to the stronghold and see if there is anybody that i might be able to take down this looks like a complete hassle and a half and that that sippy is going to outspeed me this one maybe but i don't know how fast that makage is and then if i try to take down makage that's kind of an iffy now he's using a speed aura there so and i'm assuming that is going to be a very fast siffy so all these yumikos here let me go ahead and try to take down churban it's kind of taking a while to load for this huh oh yeah it's going to be a case of trying to cut a path 
to the stronghold while still having enough good teams left to beat the defenders. All right, so obviously I'm, I can't go in with um, a speed aura in Arbiter, so I'm gonna have to just kind of rely on um, a different type of speed. And this was actually a good choice on his end to use her as a speed lead. Because obviously the speed in arena battles is not going to work. Now I can still bring in Arbiter because she is my fastest champion. And maybe hope to outspeed them. But it's kind of unlikely that that's going to happen. We'll bring Necrit. Or should I? Hmm. Unless I just bring out Sippy Rotos. And then, hmm, it kind of changes things up because you can't just, you know, it's not a, it's not like a speed meta thing here. You really have to uh, kind of think a little bit more about it. I don't think my Sippy, my Sippy is that fast. Maybe I should take out Georgian and just rely on Arbiter and hope. We'll just hope. So here's our first battle. And oh my god, we get outsped. I think if maybe I had gone in with a lead, that might have worked out, a speed lead, but it's okay. It's fine. Let's go ahead and try to take down her because she's going to speed everybody up. That's fine. We might be okay if I can pop off Rotos, get those extra turns in. down Siffy, push back Yumiko. Yeah, I don't want to. Oh my gosh. Come on, Siffy. I'm bringing back Rotos. Come on, dude. Do it. Yes. Oh my gosh. Siffy Rotos. There we go. First victory. So, these guys got <laughs> matched up with Imperium. They're done. I would have quit right there. These load things just take up a long time. I feel like I need a speed lead against our mons. Who do I have that's a speed lead here? I could go in with my own Duchess. Actually, let's go in with... Actually, she's not even really built. Let's go in with you, and let's take this out, and I think we're going to have to rely on Sippy Rotos again. Actually, Georgian would be very good. Very good indeed. Where's Necrid at? Georgian, and then um, I really think Harima would help us out. We could go with... Actually... Yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and take in Shuzen just because Armand's is there. The Shuzen, it's arena battles also. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do this. Run with this, and hopefully we're gonna be okay. But oh, thank God, because if if Armand's went, bro, now I don't think I'm going to be able to outspeed even if I use the A3. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Georgid his move immediately. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take out, um, what do you call it, Duchess. So I'm going to go ahead for Armands. Then I'm going to hit this. Let's place this. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and protect Shuzen. We're going to boost our speed. And we're going to attack Duchess. Oh, okay. And we're going to head. Go, blah, blah, blah. We're going to take down Sun Wukong. And we're going to go ahead and hit Taurus as well. And hopefully we can shred through him in time before Sun Wukong takes his turn and messes everything up. Oh, wait. I should have gone on manual. What am I doing? I gave the attack boost to freaking Duchess because I left it on auto. Uh-oh. That's my bad for being careless. Don't ever get too cocky, guys. That, that's, that's, that's what happens. Fucking hell. Oh my god.
Jesus. Oh man, if I goof this up. I had it too. I had it. Oh my god, no. Why did I leave it on auto? Oh, come on. Bring it back, bring it back. Georgid! Georgid! Georgie! Georgie! Oh, what am I doing? He only ally attacks. I'm freaking out right now. He only ally attacks when he's connected to somebody with ally protect. All right. Now, Georgie gets the proper boost that he needs, and we hit Taurus. I can't believe I, I, I messed this up so much so far. Lock him out. Take care of Taurus. And then... Oh my god. Dude... This is this is why you don't just like feel oh I almost lost that. This is why you don't do that. You you, you should never just be like, "Oh, I won. I'm just going to throw it on auto." Cuz that could have gone sideways so quickly. I forgot Shuzen's um she had, she buffs first the person who's in the first position. This one might be uh, or one that I can take out as well. So pretty much the same deal here. I mean, it's basically arena, right? So I'm going to go Sippy Rotos here. Actually. Yeah, should be fine. Um, let's bring Warlord in. And we'll bring in our... Our mons? Let's bring Sun Wukong in. I feel like Sun Wukong needs some love. So we're going to speed boost first. And then we're going to hit this. Cool. Oh my god. Uko. What the f... Uko resisted? I guess that also kind of works out too in our favor. Otherwise he would have double hit us. And that would have been quite nasty. Let's go ahead and hit... Ah, oh, petrifications from Mithrala. Um, yeah, let's take care of Mithrala so we get that extra turn for sure. Let's hit Necrit. And can we steal all these? Oh, we'll at least put the block buffs on them. That way we take the buffs off of him. I think he might have killed Sippy. He would have... you out get the extra turn we'll take Mithrala out go ahead and hit Uko and I'm not gonna say it's an easy clap because that could have gone sideways as well oh so as soon as we hit this threshold is this how this works oh received our first set of uh whatever gear this is and so these right here are sort of like I don't know if they're personal quests or team-wide quests that's wild <laughs>